So intelligent tires, what is this exactly? It's the tire fitted on the car with a sensor and that sensor is going to communicate to us via a portable tablet and it's going to provide us with quite some interesting information. So we need to put ourselves in the shoes of a fleet owner. The fleet owner doesn't want to only know um, what the status is of the tires but wants to know if something needs to be done about the tires. So is a proactive action required uh, to keep the vehicle going? Because as a fleet owner, I'm going to be focused on keeping my fleet running. And to keep the fleet running, I want to maximize my uptime. I want to minimize my downtime. I want to make sure that vehicle doesn't have to stop for tire intervention. This is going to enable us also to uh, optimize my cost of ownership uh, of my vehicle fleet. And above all, last but not least, I want to make sure that the vehicle user is in the safest possible conditions by always having the right tires at the right inflation with the right thread depth. So now let's take a look uh, at the application and what the intelligent tires are telling us. So here right now we see the Tesla vehicle from above and on the left side everything pretty much okay. Now on the right side on the other hand we do see on the front a worn tire and on the rear a tire with very low pressure. So let's take a look first at the uh, pressure information. So the pressure information we do see that three tires are right but it's the right rear tire that clearly has a lower pressure uh, than the other ones. I'll now move back to the home screen because we also saw we had a worn tire issue, but we do see that the front right tire doesn't have a lot of potential left. Uh, we are at the legal limit in terms of wear. Okay, so I'm just going to reset the, uh, the algorithm here just to show you how quickly that it can relearn the wear state of the tires. So I've just got a little reset button here. So I've reset that. Um, the algorithm running on our, our prototype box down here has now lost all of the previous history. And as we drive here right now, constant speed, no corners. The system is calculating how much the tires are worn and how many kilometers are left in terms of reserve on those tires. So the algorithm that we have is taking in uh, various pieces of information. So obviously the, um, the, the information from the, the tire, so the sensor in the tire, so the tire ID information, so it knows which tires are on the vehicle, that's very important. It's also taking in the pressure information and the temperature information. It's also capturing various signals from the vehicle as well and taking all of that into process then two things. One, the first being the wear state of the tyre. So and the second output is then the remaining mileage prediction of the tyres based on the driving style of the vehicle at the moment. The numbers have changed because the driving style has also changed. We have had some braking, we have had some uh, speed bumps, some roundabout. So what this enables to the fleet owner is that number one, the user of the car has always the best optimal conditions in terms of safety. You have tires that are at the right inflation with the right tread depth. Secondly, the fleet owner ensures that that vehicle continues going. There is no downtime because actions have been taken preventively. And thirdly, this really enables also the fleet owner to uh, optimize uh, the cost of ownership uh, of its fleet. Really scheduling the interventions that are tire related at the right point in time uh, to ensure the best potential of the tires. It's in fact proactive maintenance uh, of the tires that can be scheduled.